take a moment today to find a comfortable seated position on our mat. Root down the sitting bones, expand through the spine to the crown of the head. Let the breath become deep. Maybe the exhale a little longer than the inhale to calm down the system, to calm down the mind, so we can focus on the practice this morning. No need to control in any way. Just be open to explore the present moment in your practice. Take five more deep Ujjayi breath here. Let the body soften and relax. As you inhale, get the arms over the side, over the head, and exhale, draw them into the heart space. Two more times, inhale deep, expand, exhale, hands to the heart. Last one, open the arms, and exhale, keep the hands in front of the heart. Your intention for today. Maybe for the next day. Stay connected to that loving kindness in your heart. That connects you not only to yourself, but to all living beings all around you. Let's open the practice by chanting one on together. Inhale. Oh, the chin to the chest. Open the arms over the side, reach up tall, interlace the hands, flip the palm. Let's make some big circles here. Round the spine to the front, sit in, reach up, exhale. In, lengthen, reach back and up, exhale, forward. Last circle this way and then we go the other way. We pause at the top and rotate the other direction. One more this way. And then when you're all the way on the top, just reach back, give yourself a big morning stretch. And exhale, let the hands come down, roll over your knees. Find a tabletop position. Shoulders over wrists, tuck the toes under, shift it back, down, down. Shift forward to plank, knees down, chest and chin. Slide forward into your cobra. And exhale, push it back, down, down. Lift the right heel, roll over your toes, give the ankle a stretch on the right side so the dorsum of the foot, the front, can stretch out. Exhale, plant the right heel, lift the left, roll over the toes. At the same time that you're rolling over the toes, you can stretch the right heel back. 
Neutral position for the feet, regular down dog. Shift forward to plank. One more time, knees, chest, and chin. Slide forward into your cobra, pull the shoulders back. And exhale, push it back, down dog. Take a deep breath here, maybe exhale out of your mouth. Create space for yourself. And we walk the feet to the front of the mat, lengthen halfway. Exhale, fold over your legs. Two more. Inhale, lengthen halfway, come onto the fingertips, belly comes in. Exhale, forward fold. Last one. Lengthen out. Exhale, release. Bend the knees so you can roll up all the way into a standing position. Parallel the feet, feet together, hands in front of the heart. Let's start doing some sun salutations. And here, bring the arms up and back. Asta Uttanasana. Exhale, forward, forward. Right leg steps back in a low lunge. Sink the hips, chest moves forward. Hands down into plank. You can take the knees as before, a full chaturanga. And upward facing dog, cobra. And exhale, all the way back, down dog. Take one long breath. The right leg lifts high. Step it through, low lunge. Both feet meet, forward fold. Inhale, lift up and back. Hasta Uttanasana. Exhale, Tadasana. Left side, ends up and back. Exhale, forward fold. Left foot steps back. Low lunge. Both feet meet in plank. Your vinyasa. Find your way back and down dog for a breath. Left leg lifts. Step it through. Low lunge. Both feet meet. Forward fold. Inhale, arms up and back. And exhale. Tadasana. We'll do one more round, but we add a few steps. So listen careful. Arms up and back. Exhale, forward fold. Right leg lifts high. Halfway lift in the spine. Step it all the way back. Low lunge. Sit over the heel. Half split variation. Lean back over the left leg. Reach high with the right one more time. Standing split. We'll step it back into a high lunge this time. Arms up and over the side. Pull the navel in. Both hands down. Step it back. Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing up. And exhale, downward facing up. Right leg high. Bring the knee to the nose, round the spine. Right leg lifts, step it through, high lunge on the right side, both arms up, pull the navel in, both legs straight, exhale, pyramid pose, fall over the right leg to keep the spine long. Right leg bends, come back up, high lunge. Shift the weight onto the right leg, step it all the way to Utkatasana, both arms lift. Exhale, press to start. Other side, arms up and back. Exhale, forward fold. Lift the left leg back, halfway lift. Keep the spine long. All the way back, low lunge. Right leg straight, half split. All the way to standing split. Lift the left leg high. Land back, high lunge, arms up and over the side, pull the navel in, both hands down, arrive in your plank, chaturanga, and upward facing up, exhale downward facing up, left leg lifts, knee to the nose, round the spine, left leg high, 
step it through, high lunge on the side, both legs straight, fold over the left for pyramid pose, keep reaching with the belly to the thigh, left leg bends, come back, high lunge, step it in, Utkatasana chair, press to stand, Tadasana, take a moment to settle in, digest the first movements of this class. Come back to your chair, Katasana, arms up over the side, pull the navel in, find the control in the core. One more breath. Drift the weight onto the right leg, cover the left, and then lift all the way, one leg, Tadasana, left knee into the center, cross it over, figure four, hands in front of the heart, if you like. So the ankle crosses above the right knee, reaching forward with the chest. Inhale, arms up, left knee in. Step it all the way back into the high lunge. Pause for a breath. Bend the left knee. Shift it back, half split. Yeah, yeah. Lean over the right. Standing split on the right. Can you connect the forehead to the leg? Exhale, back to Katasana Chi. Sit low. We'll do the other side. Shift the weight onto the left. Right leg hovers. Press it all the way. One leg Tadasana, right knee into the chest. Press it over the leg. And then figure four on the side. Sit deep. Maybe you can connect the elbow and the knee. One more breath. Press back to stand, right knee into the chest, arms up. Step it back, high lunge. Right knee down, press back with the hips towards the heels, half split. All the way to standing split, lift the right leg high. <coughs> Exhale, forward fold. Bend the knees, arrive back into your chair, Katasana. Exhale, forward fold. Halfway lift, step or jump back to plank. Shut the lung. Inhale, upward facing down. Exhale, downward facing down. Take one deep breath here. Sink into the posture by planting the hands down, rooting the feet. <clears throat> right leg lifts. Knee to the forehead, crunch it in. Right leg lifts. Step it through, high lunge on the right side. Both arms up. Reach all the way up, cactus your arms, open your chest, elbows pull back. Inhale, both arms lift, right leg straight, permit pose. Let's go for the twist, so plant the left hand down, rotate the right arm open. Reach towards the ceiling, pull the navel in. Then you can play with like opening the right hip back and pushing it back to the front. So the hip here moves forward and back until you feel where is the neutral position of the hip, maybe placing the hand on the sacrum and really feeling the sacrum aligned. Exhale, both hands down. Right leg bends. Sit low into your low lunge. Shift it back, half split. Right leg bends, standing split on the right. Halfway lengthen here, left hand can come a little bit more to the front, bend the back leg, reach back with the right. You can stay here, just bringing the heel in, or you can open, pushing into the foot and stretching out the shoulder and the quad a little more. Release all the way back to standing split. Step it back, high lunge, arms up. Open to the side, warrior two. 
right arm down, left arm over the head, extended side angle, up in the front, of the side body, inhale up, exhale reverse. When you lift back to warrior two, all the way down to the floor, right leg lifted if you like, three-legged chaturanga. Inhale, good facing down. Exhale, downward facing down. Take a breath to neutralize. How do you treat yourself in this space? Make it a loving space. Left leg high. Knee to the chest, crunch it in, left leg high, step it through, high lunge, both arms lift, let's go for the opening in the spine, elbows into a cactus shape, push the chest through, inhale, both arms lift, left leg straight, pyramid pose, forward fold, alignment first. The right hand is your foundation and one line with the foot. Open the left palm up. So you have this first twist field. And then try to play with the hip. It might be also a little easier to bend the knee a little bit. And pull the right hip to the front, the right hip back. And play with the extremes to find the ideal position for yourself. Very nice. Exhale. Come back to pyramid pose, bend the right knee down, shift it back over the heel, half split, all the way to standing split, right leg left side. Come into a halfway lift so you can position your hand in a good way and then left arm reaches back for the twist, stay with the heel to the glute or open the left shoulder by pulling the toe away. Come back, release, right leg lifts, step it all the way back, high lunge, arms over the side, we'll open to warrior two, extended side angle on the left, for a breath, inhale warrior two, and exhale reverse, keep the left leg bent as much as you can, warrior two, Windle it down, left leg lifted if you like. Drop the down. Inhale, upward facing down. And exhale, downward facing down. Two long breaths. Whenever you need a child's pose in this flow, please give it to yourself. Adjust the practice. There's no need to follow through everything. It should feel good in your own body. Step or jump to the front of the mat, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Bend the knees, sit over the heels, Kukatasana. Arms lift high. Push into the right leg, left leg into standing, one leg Tadasana. Left knee high, cross it over the right, sit back, figure four. See how low can you go. This means for this round, you could also bring the chest further down, maybe touching with the hands down, maybe even sitting all the way down and trying to find the balance on the toe with the hands in front of the heart, or hooking the elbows, placing the hands down, shifting the weight forward, creating that shell, with the shin in front of the arms and maybe lifting the right leg up. Show you this one from this side as well. I think it's a lot easier to come from this toe balance because then you have time to place the hand down, the foot is flexed, the elbows bend like in Chaturanga, maybe just leaning to the front is enough, maybe lifting the right leg in, maybe shifting the leg back. back into your figure four, reach up with the arms, left leg in, step it back with Katasana, 
Flow the arms back interlace the hands. Lift the chest. Exhale, forward fold. Take another breath. Let the arms go, bend the knees, arms up. Katasana chair. Press into the left leg, lift the right knee in. Cross it over the left knee, figure four. Choose your challenge. Do you want to stay here? Maybe reaching forward, maybe trying to reach for the floor. Maybe sitting all the way down into the toe balance, checking out your balance here. We're placing the hands down, hand shoulder width, hook the foot, lean forward, maybe lifting the left leg fully. Flying figure four. From the toe balance, press it back to figure four. Right knee in. Step it back with Katasana. Fly the arms back, interlace the hands, open chest, forward fold. Let go of the arms, halfway lift. Regular crow if you like, come onto the toes, place the hands, bring the knees in the back of the triceps. Shift forward for one breath. Step and jump back, Chaturanga, in upward facing dog. And exhale brings you to downward facing dog. What is here right now? Connect to what you need in this present moment. Right leg lifts high. Bring the knee to the forehead, round the spine, engage the core. Right leg lifts. Step it through, high lunge. Both arms over the side, pull the navel in, open the elbows, open the front of the body. Inhale up. Right leg straight, exhale, pyramid pose. Left hand down, right arm reaches up, twist the pyramid pose. Bend the right knee, lift the left. You can adjust the hand. Reach back with the right hand, grab the toe, maybe open. Release, all the way to standing split, reach down with the forehead, reach back with the left foot, arrive in your high lunge, left knee down, sit over the heel, half split, stay for another breath, rebend the right leg, step it back to plank, chaturanga. In upward facing down. And exhale downward facing down. Left leg lifts. Knee to the chest. Left leg high. Step it through. High lunge. Arms up. Navel in. Elbows wide. Cactus your arms. Inhale, reach up. Left leg straight. Pyramid pose. Right hand is your foundation, left arm opens, chest up. Bend the left leg, bring it up to twist and half moon, reach back, catch the foot, maybe open into the half bow here, pulling the navel in as well. Let go of the foot, lean forward, standing split, right leg high. Step back into high lunge, lift arms up, bend the right knee, half split for a breath. Left leg bend so you can step back into high plank, move through vinyasa of your choice. One deep breath, exhale release. Bring the knees down into a tabletop. We'll go back to this figure four shape. Bring the left knee in and make a figure four in your tabletop. 
So the foot crosses in front of the shin. Now we try to do cat cow here. So bring the chest down and push into the hands around the spine. Release the chest open with your inhale. Exhale, push. Last one. Bring the left knee in and up so you can reach with your right hand back to the inside of the foot. Maybe expect. Release back to tabletop. Right knee into the chest, cross it over, figure four on the side. Drop the belly, the chest down, arch. Exhale round. Do you feel a difference in your hips? One more round, keep the elbows locked. The right knee comes into the midline. Keep the foot up, reach back with your left hand. Half bow here. Find the balance through the midline, release, back to tabletop, sit all the way back down on your heels, interlace the hands behind, open the chest, roll into the crown of the head, lift the hips up, rabbit pose. Then release to child's pose for a moment. Roll yourself back up on your knees. Make sure the knees are hip width apart. You can tuck the toes under to get a little bit more stability. We'll play with balance here a little bit as well. So you reach back with your right hand. You can bring the left arm up. Now I want you to shift the weight to the right side and maybe hover the left knee. Maybe you can also hover the toe. Very nice. Let's try the other side. Left hand back to the heel. Right arm lifts. Lift the knee first and then maybe hover the toe. Push into the left leg. All the way back, sit over the heels, take a moment to digest. The strength from this balance and comes from the thigh and the core. Come back up. We'll make it a little easier this time. You can keep the feet flat and rotate the right foot inward a little bit, so it's like 45 degree. And then place the left foot to the front, on the toe. You can reach back with the right arm. Maybe that's enough for today. Maybe you want to lift the knee. You can also take a block under the hand. Try to open the chest. Push the hips to the front. Maybe look up. And place the foot down. And we'll switch sides. Right foot to the front, left foot a little angled. You can place the hand either down on the side or on the foot, depending on your back bend as well. Come onto the toe, maybe you can lift the foot. Maybe you can place the hand to the knee and open in the chest, push into the bottom leg. Release, come back up, sit over the heels, right hand into the left, close the eyes. We are thrown into challenges a lot, maybe especially during these days if you're meant to spend it alone or with your family. question is 
how we can stay connected to that loving kindness in our heart. It gives us space and time for the process that we are in. Come all the way back up. We'll do a regular camel pose. Your variation, knees hip width apart, feet tucked under or flat on the floor. You can just place the hands in the lower back, arch back, maybe reach back with both hands. Drop the head back if it's okay for the neck. Take another deep breath here. Allow the chest, the heart to open. Tuck the chin in, use the core to come up. Sit back over the heels. Interlace the hands behind the head, elbows wide, and tuck the chin to the chest. Two long breaths and elongation of the head all the way to the shoulder blades. And then release, keep the knees wide so you can find an extended child's pose. Maybe wiggle the hips a little bit from side to side. Find your way back into a tabletop. Press back into down dog. We'll combine one more round of all the things that we've done in one flow. You'll do what feels good. So inhale, step or jump to the front, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Bend the knees for a chair with Katasana. Sit low. Press into the right leg, left knee high. Cross it over, figure four. Stay here or fly with the hands down. Shifting the weight to the front. Maybe lifting the right leg all the way back. Bring it in if you flew. And back in your figure four. Left knee into the chest. Step it back, high lunge. Practice your arms, open the chest. Press both legs into straight, pyramid pose. Open arm twist, right arm lifts. Bend the right leg so it's easier to come into twisted half moon. Reach back with the hand if you like. Push into the foot. Let go of the foot. Standing split. Shift it back. High lunge. Arms up. Left knee bends. Sit over. Half split. Right knee bends forward. High lunge. Open to warrior two. Extended side angle, your variation. Maybe the hand on the inside of the leg. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, reverse. Humble with yourself. Warrior two. Windle it down, right leg lifted. Chaturanga. Upward facing dog. Exhale, back, down dog. Come on the toes, step or jump to the front of the mat, halfway lengthen. Exhale, forward fold. Utkatasana chair as you inhale, press into the left foot, right knee in. Cross it over, figure four. Stay in the figure four or lean into the arm balance, placing the hands down, hooking the foot, maybe lifting the left leg high. Come back from the arm balance if you had it. We'll meet back in figure four. Right knee in. Step it back, high lunge. Elbows wide, open the chest, create space. Arms lift, leg straight, pyramid pops. Left leg open, left arm open, excuse me, twisted pyramid pops. 
left leg bend slightly so you can come into twisted half moon bend the back leg in catch the toe maybe open into the bow let go of the foot standing forward fold in your half split Shift the leg back, high lunge, back knee down, sit over the heel, half split, left knee bends, come all the way up, high lunge, open to warrior two, extended side angle, reverse it, warrior two, wiggle it down, step the back, your vinyasa. Arrive back, down dog. Bring the knees down. Lift your torso up. We'll go sideways on the mat. Right knee stays down, left moves out. Bring the arms up. Reach the left arm to the side, little side bend here. Bring both arms up, right arm reaches back, push the hips to the front, left arm back. Both arms up. Place the hands directly underneath the shoulders. One more round, drop the chest, move the spine to the front. Exhale round. One more round, arch the spine, look to the front. And exhale round the spine. Sit over the heel on this side, so you have the heel in the glute, left arm to the inside of the leg, reach into the side bend one more time. Left hand on the inside of the left leg. Stay focused on your midline. Inhale up, hands down, bring the left knee in, we switch side. Right leg out, make sure it's in one line with the knee. Both arms lift, pull the navel in. Right arm on the right, leg, push the hip to the front so it's aligned with the knee. Left arm windows back to the back heel, right arm lifts over. All the way back to center, hands underneath the shoulders. Drop the chest, arch the spine, reach forward. Exhale, push and round. One more round. Reach the chest forward, exhale round. Neutral position, sit over the left heel, all the way back. Right hand on the inside, left arm reaches into the side bend. Use the support you need, try to reach up before you go so low. Wiggle it all the way back up, release. And back into your tabletop, back to plank, all the way down onto the belly. The right knee comes towards the right shoulder. You can totally stay here. You can come onto the forearms for a swing pose. Or you can bring the left arm parallel to the front of the mat, bend the back foot, Reach with the right hand back on the inside, and then maybe even creating a little pullback with the toe to open the chest, but make sure both of the hip are down. Rotate the right shoulder back. We did a lot of these twisted bows today, so this one should feel much better already. And then bend it back in. Come onto the belly. <coughs> the left arm reaches through towards the knee. Open the right arm back for a spinal twist. You can decide if you want to keep the knee down so maybe the arm is floating or if you rotate more on the back depending where you want to get the stretch. One more deep breath. Exhale, turn back onto the belly, both legs straight. Find a moment in center. Draw the left knee towards the left shoulder. 
Stay here and just relax. So come into the forearms for a spring pose with a half rock. Or right arm in front, parallel with the short side of the mat. Reach back with the right hand to catch the foot from inside. Stay here or push into the foot. Both hips down. Gaze keeps moving to the front. Release slowly. Come back onto your belly if you didn't stay there. Bring the right arm underneath to the left knee. Rotate the left arm out to the side for the twist. You can play a little bit also with the angle of the arm to use the weight of the arm to draw yourself into the twist. Bring it back to center onto the belly. Both hands underneath the chin of the forehead, bend both of your knees, when you wipe the legs from right to left. And also give yourself a little thigh massage with the floor. Legs back, hands underneath the shoulders, press it back, down duck. Walk the feet in to the front of the mat, halfway lengthen your spine. Sit over the heels, come all the way into a seat, both legs to the front. Draw the right knee into the chest. Hook with the right arm underneath the thigh, it can be also with both of the hands. Try to kick the right leg into a straight position, just a few times. And then you hold with the left hand on the outside of the foot. And you can support yourself with the right hand. See how much you can straighten this leg. You can keep it bent. Maybe float the right arm. Twist. Come back to front. Hold your leg with both of your hands. Maybe you can bring the nose to the shin. Keep pressing the bottom leg down, reaching the chest to the front. And then let the leg slowly float down and the left knee in. Hold the thigh to the belly, straighten your spine. See how much you can kick the leg into straight. It might not be much as you do these exercises more often. Your body will find it much easier. And then bend the foot so you can catch with your right hand the outside of the foot. And left arm supports, reaches back, push the left leg into a straight or bent position. The balance happens in the core, both sitting bones rooting down. Both hands to the front. Can you catch the leg at any point? Bring the navel more towards the hat. Release the leg slowly down. Both arms lift. Exhale forward fold. Arrive in your Paschimottanasana. Relax the back of the neck. Halfway left. Bend the right foot in, so the right heel is on the outside of your hip. Maybe that's already enough. Maybe you need support underneath the left butt cheek. Place the hands back with the fingers facing towards you and bend the elbow. So you can move the chest up and get a chest stretch as well. You can try to strengthen it, uh, straighten it out and bend just a couple times, see how it feels on your knee. 
If it feels good, you may lower onto the forearms. If this still feels good, you may lower all the way without lifting the hips up. Try to pull the belly in, keep the knee in one line with the other. Maybe taking the arms over the sides. You want to avoid a big arch of the spine, so maybe you also need support underneath your ribs. Take another breath here. Release the tension in your thigh. Place the hands down. Maybe support yourself all the way up with the elbows. Bend the right knee in, hold behind the knee, make a little circle in both directions for the knee. And then just swing it loose before you straighten it all the way. Left heel on the outside of the left hip. Align yourself. Do you feel like you're rolling onto the right side? Support yourself underneath the glutes. And walk the hands back, one palm distance away from the hips. Stay with the arms straight or bend, but keep moving the chest to the front. Maybe bend and extend a couple times so the upper spine can lengthen. Maybe lower down to the forearms or all the way down to the floor. Arms alongside of the torso or over the head. Stretch out the thigh, stretch out the knee, another deep breath here. Whatever position you found yourself, make your way back up to your seat if you didn't stay there. Bend the left knee in. Some nice circles or swings for the knee. And then straighten it out. Halfway left. Exhale, one more forward fold. Go back up. Cross the legs. And then step it back into your high plank, Chaturanga. Inhale, but facing up. And exhale, downward facing down. Bring the knees down. I want you to fold your mat in the front. And then step the right foot to the front and straighten out the back foot like it's a high lunge here. <clears throat> and then imagine you want to press your foot back and slide it in. If it's too much with the knee lifted, you can do it with a bent leg. And then stay in the low lunge. You can support yourself with the hands. And then imagine of pushing the front foot back. Uh, yeah, with the front foot to the back to stay kind of in an extended lunge position. Make sure you can still connect the belly to the thigh. Draw it in. Place your hands on the thigh and lift the belly away from the thigh by pushing into the um, front leg. To create more space, you should feel the stretch more in the left toes. And then release. You can just sit over the heel and get the, do a half split. Or you can use this push back from the front foot to slide out into either one more extended lunge or maybe all the way into a split. <clears throat> Slowly slide it back in. 
and then we'll switch to the other side, left leg to the front, find the high lunge first, push into the back foot. This stays aligned on top of the heel and then maybe draw it in a little bit to feel that muscle engaging. Bring the knee down. And same thing here, place the hands next to the heel. Slide from the front foot back. Stay in any pose where you like, where you can keep the belly to the thigh. Extended, low lunge. Reach forward with the chest. One more breath. Bring it in with the knee back on the hips, straighten out the left, push into the front foot, into the front thigh, lift the chest up, create space here. Roll the shoulders back, one more breath. And exhale it down. Your variation, either half split, or pushing it in another extended lunge, all the way into a split. Think of that lengthening that we did with the thigh. Think of that pushing action, imagining pushing both feet in opposite direction. Just two more breaths. And then draw it back in. Bring the feet back, bring your mat back. Hands underneath the shoulders, down dog, walk it out. Lift the right leg up. Find a pigeon on the right. Right knee down, hips lifted, hands next to the hips. Rotate the shoulders back. You can stay here, go down into a sleeping pigeon if you want to do Another twisted bow, left hand into your midline, reach back for the back foot, rotate the right shoulder back. Release, hands underneath the shoulder, push it back up to down dog, shake out the head, the shoulders. Left leg lifts high, pigeon on the left, knee to the left wrist, right leg back, sit up straight, draw the shoulders back, maybe that's enough, maybe you want to go to the sleeping, or to the twist, right hand into your midline, bend the back foot, reach, open the chest, look over the left shoulder towards the toe. of the back foot, both hands underneath the shoulders, push it back, knees down, sit over the heels, child's pose, rest the forehead on the mat. Reconnect with the breath, let the loving kindness move from the heart and the whole body. Draw yourself back up into a seat. Swing the legs out to the front. Connect the soles of the feet, lay all the way down, Sutta Barakanasana. The knees are white, if you need support underneath the knees, go ahead. Place the left hand onto the heart, the right hand onto the belly. Let the body rest. Let the body melt down. Let the mind settle. The 
heart as a very open place. And we connect to unconditional love. Like you can stay in this pose for your Shavasana. If you want to make your way into Shavasana, take the hands on the knees, guide the knees together, hug the knees in, give yourself a hug. Before you stretch out the legs to the front, keep the feet met with the part, palms facing up. As we are resting in this pose, <coughs> we can do like an internal body scan throughout the whole body. Feel the vibration, the energies that we move. the breath moving free. Imagine all the things you could be if you weren't controlled by any insecurity. Imagine the heart as a wide open place without knowing that it sometimes hurts. Make the present moment your best experience. Determined by your past or your longing for the future. There's nothing that needs to be controlled. We stay connected to the flow that can only be perceived in the here and now. You may rest as long as you like in this position. If you want to close the practice with me, invite the breath to reawaken the body. Creating gentle movements in the fingers and toes. Using the inhale to stretch the arms over the side, reaching the feet and the arms in opposite direction. And then draw the knees into the chest, roll into a fetal position on your favorite side. Thank yourself for your practice, for being loving with yourself from this loving space, sharing compassion with all human beings around. Roll all the way in to a seated position. 
palms facing up. Receive the benefits of your practice. Get the hands together in front of the heart. Connect to the wisdom in your heart that always knows better. To close practice, we'll chant Om Shanti 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 together. Inhale. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Hands to your third eye center, you see of intuition, to your lips for speaking your truth. Back to your heart. May you always be guided by your heart. Namaste.